Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Salem. Welcome to this video and my channel, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do many Fallout 76 videos, but here I am with one. Uh, this one's going to be basically showing off my camp that's a work in progress. I've been working a lot on it. Mostly, that's what I've been doing with my Fallout 76, is working on my camp. Um, now, I'm not going to get into if the game's good or not, or whatever, but just as of right now, I'm, I'm enjoying it enough to play it, so... Um, I might make that into a video on my own personal opinions on it, but anyway, um, right now this is my level 42 character, Atlas. Um, I don't really have a specific course in action for him, it's just going with the flow. But I wanted to show you mainly my camp, because a lot of people have looked at it on their social medias and they wanted to see more, so I will just, I'm just going to get into it. So this right over here, this is my camp. I, I nicknamed this the pier, uh, just because as a little tiny, uh, a little tiny pier uh, <laughs> bridge out here to this little tiny bed of water. And if you're wondering where I'm located, I am actually located on the southern part of the map here, uh, right near Newgad and Summersville Docks. It's just a big dried up lake um, with obviously some water still left in it, but. Um, I picked the spot because a couple different reasons and I'll get into them as I go along but um, I actually want to do a shout out right now to cordless on YouTube he's the one who gave me the idea for the wraparound uh, sort of um, architecture for this building um, I have two wraparound decks one at the top one at the bottom the bottom one doesn't go all the way around but the top one does um, I'll link them in the description I'll also put them in the little eye thing in the top right hand corner but anyway, um, so when you first come up here, there's obviously this little incline where you have to climb up to get it to the main part of the house. Now, I want to say that this is not the only entrance, but this is the technical way to enter. Um, so like I said, it's a, this is a quarter wraparound bridge, I think, at the very bottom, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have just a couple knickknacks like that out here to make it feel like home, I guess. Um, when you get to the death center and to the front door, people can't get in unless they have to pick lock it, unless they're my friend, um, or I open it for them. There's no real reason to go in the main part of the house, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But right in front of the main door is the actual bridge. Now, there's nothing really to this bridge. I just wanted to throw it in there because I feel like it would be a waste of space if I didn't do that, and a wasted opportunity. So, you can actually sit here and just play steel guitar if you want it, it gives you that well tuned boost. And also, I love the sound of steel guitars. Um, I'm a big, I'm big into southern instruments um, and southern culture. So, it's, it's just fitting uh, for me. Um, so, that's there, so if anybody just wants to come by and get well tuned, they have that option. Um, I don't have a water pump anywhere, um, but the reason why is because I have water right here and it's quick to click water here and then go boil it than having a water pump. I don't have a water purifier or anything like that as well, so. When you get up here, like I mentioned, the front door is locked, but I did leave the garage, um, and this is also from Cordless as well, the idea I got. Um, so I have a little vault boy right here pointing to the switch. You flick the switch and then bam. There's the garage. It has every single workbench in here. It has a tinkerer's workbench, power armor, uh, bed to rest. Um, I have a stash box, which is just a foot locker, stove, you name it. So anybody can come here, repair their stuff, stash their goods, rest up a little bit, and then carry it on their way. And then when they're done, they can just lock it back up. Now, there is a door there, but it's, again, a level 3 lock. At least in the main house but nobody can really access it. Now this is the part that's a work in progress. Um, the, these two floors, not including the bedroom, because the bedroom is completely done, I'm still working on, but... So when you enter here, you see this area. This is just like a chill out area, I guess. Um, there's a lot of sitting arrangements. <laughs> so you sit around, there's a TV, really awkwardly placed. I didn't know where to put the TV to make it like not look awkward because the way this wall is, and the main couch and all that but um yeah i i like it i just actually threw up this wall today it was just a half wall here and there was no opening but this is my kitchen area through here 
Um, I decided to separate it just because, I don't know, I, it's not really a full kitchen. It has a milk fridge and a stove. That's about it. I can put other stuff in there, but my budget's actually exceeding right now, so I have to level up a little bit before I can continue. Um, most of my posters in my house are these um, lit up posters. I just really like the way they look, so um, we have that going on. <laughs> so we go through here. This leads to the second floor. Again, this is locked too. I like to, I like to lock these floors up because if I invite someone to come in, um, I like to kind of, unless they're my friend, I like to separate them from the rest of the house as much as possible if they don't need to go anywhere. Because like I said, everything that they would need would be in that garage, but regardless. So this is the second floor. It's another hangout area type deal. Uh, couch, pool table. Most of these is just aesthetic. It doesn't have actually anything to do with the camp. A uh, piano to get well tuned. I moved that from the outside. I'm probably going to put it back out there, but I also have a jukebox right here. I can play music. Um, now, the only issue I have with it is it only plays classical. I just don't like that a jukebox can play classical. Um, or has to play classical, I guess. Um, but I'll go out to the deck in a second, but I'm going to show you the bedroom. The fully furnished, fully finished room. That's actually my pride and joy. Now look at this. This is gorgeous. All right. I love this room very much so, um, and you can tell that I bought some stuff with Adams. Uh, I may have dropped a couple bucks here and there, which it is overpriced, but it's I, I give in too easily. So uh, I got a bed, I got my Nuka stash, um, a few decorative thingamabobbers all the way around. Um, I don't know why that says tools. I got to make that say plumbing or something like that, but this is just the bathroom. This is where I could just put like a bathtub and toilet. Doesn't have any purpose but for aesthetics, so it's good. I'm thirsty and I don't have anything on me, so I'll click dirty water and boil here in a minute. Alright, so let's take you out to the deck. Now this is nothing fancy, it's just a big old wraparound deck. It's good for some uh, screenshots and cinematics and whatnot. But the only thing up here really is this statue of this uh, vault boy with a bunch of, uh, what are these called again, um, <laughs> power connectors. Um, and this leads out in my garage. It was the only way I can get it set up properly um, because over here towards the back, capped off, is my generator. Actually, I should probably move that forward. So I'm... I'm gonna do that later. Uh, take care of the smoke situation going in the house because I can move it literally right there and I shouldn't have smoke pouring into the house as much. Um, so I can see everything around me. There's enemies that spawn and that's gonna bring me to my next point here in a second. Um, so if you noticed, I do not have any defense in this house. I have no turrets, no nothing. And the reason behind that being is because one these are low level enemies that spawn around here i don't have anything higher than 16 and that's a boss when they uh they spawn it's just a random like super mutant boss or a ghoul or sorry not ghoul um oh what are those things called um ah oh, shoot uh they're they're like ghouls i'll put it in the video like after the fact post editing um, but they, the only thing they really do for some reason is they aim at these railings right here first off and they'll destroy one or two. They haven't destroyed anything major since I built this house. So, um, I don't really have the budget for the build. Like the choice was, do I want to build something that is aesthetically pleasing or functional? And I chose a happy 50, 50 for both. Um, now Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here. I should probably turn off my phone when I'm doing these. Um, now, another reason why I chose this exact location is because I have a practice range. Now, when I say I have a practice range, right behind me is New Gad, all right? Um, oh, here's a little bit of the outside as well. There's nothing towards the back except for these beams and whatnot show like support on. Uh, oh, I think one of them is broken. Hold on. Yeah, 
I feel like they'll destroy something like this, but it takes so minimal to repair it. I don't even care because I have so much material at this point. I'm level 42 now, I think. But anyway, um, now right behind me, I call it my practice range because, like I said, when I get a new gun or I want to test something out or just quickly level and scavenge, this is an amazing place to do that because low level enemies die practically in one shot for me. Now, I have died here before because even though I'm level 42, if multiple shoot at me, I'm not in my power armor, they can take me out pretty quick, but... It, it's just it's just fun to just come here and just blow some steam. I know there's always guaranteed enemies to spawn here. And they're not too hard to deal with. So, but I'm probably gonna back out of this place here in just a second. But yeah, so that that's basically the whole purpose of me building there was it's practice range, not very high level enemies. Yes, they do attack my house every so often, but it's such a minimal damage type deal that I just don't care. Like, it really doesn't affect me at all. Um, let's see here. I think I only got a couple left. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just pick off these enemies randomly, but it, it's a good place to XP farm and all that. So that's another big reason why I chose this house. I think I got most of the enemies, so it's still staying here, but I'm just going to go back to the house. But anyway, I'm going to uh, probably show some B-roll footage of the house. Um, and honestly, this is like my favorite place to pick so far. I've, had, I've lived in one place before, really didn't have any big benefits besides I can farm a bunch of wood, um, but I don't really need to anymore except to repair. And I've had like 400 and something uh, wood, so. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with me serenading you with this metal guitar. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you want me to, if you wanna see me try something different or you have suggestions, just leave it below. Uh, so, I'm gonna leave you some of uh, that B footage I was telling you about. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you wanna see more of these, let me know.